Welcome to the DFA Awards, celebrating 20 years of design brilliance, where creativity meets innovation and design takes center stage. For two decades, the DFA Awards presented by the Hong Kong Design Center have celebrated the brilliance of Asian design minds, shaping a world with fresh perspectives. From architects reshaping skylines to visionaries redefining fashion, DFA Awards honored those who have not only excelled in their craft, but have positively influenced and impacted society through their designs. Design has the power to change people's perceptions and as a result, the world we live in. As the influence of design grows, considering the meaning of design may become a crucial ability for modern people. I would like to congratulate the winners. They gave us new inspirations and encouragement. I believe that design thinking that is connected to people's heart and sustainability is not simply the trend of the last few years, but also the way forward for all sectors in the next few decades. This year, we proudly acknowledged over 200 creative talents and design projects, each resonating with the essence of Asia. Tonight, we celebrate not just the winners, but the power of design to transform, inspire, and unite us all. Are you ready for an evening filled with surprises, nostalgia, and unmatched creativity? Through these five award programs, the DFA Awards honors design excellence with impact in Asia. We are honoring the visionaries who are shaping our future. The DFA World's Outstanding Chinese Designer Award acknowledges designers of Chinese origin who have significant design achievements and international recognition. Tonight, we shine a spotlight on Jiang Chong Er, a visionary merging tradition and innovation, reshaping the global design scene. Jiang Chong Er a native of Shanghai has exemplified the fusion of Eastern and Western cultures in her work. She began her design journey at Tongji University and furthered her expertise in furniture and interior design at the École Nationale Supérieure des Arts Décoratifs in Paris. In 2009, she established Shangxia in partnership with Hermes Group upon her return to China. The mission of Shangxia is to take the heritage of our craftsmanship, the Chinese traditional art of living, the excellence from China, and to encounter with contemporary design, you know, with contemporary expressions, and bring this to the future, to the world. And this is our mission. In Chinese, we say, Chen Shang, Qi Xia, take the past, take the heritage, and bring it to the future. So I think this gave me another like stage to keep this uh, you know, journey of East and West. Chiang's design philosophy centers on emotion, harmonizing tradition with modernity, craft with technology, and functionality with emotion. Her creations beautifully merge Eastern and Western elements. Her commitment to cultural exchange and innovation has garnered global acclaim. You know, as a woman, we are multi talented, okay? So I think uh, the, the capacity of discovering the beauty and the love is essential. The capacity of discovering and to feel it. And then second level is the capacity of create the love and create the beauty. And the last is to share the beauty and share the love. If we can keep doing that in all the roles that we are, with husband, with family, with parents, with kids, with your colleagues, with your customer, with your clients, you know, then you can be just like water, fluid, and you go everywhere. The DFA Design Leadership Award recognizes pioneering business leaders who foster lasting success through strategic, innovative design. In 2023, the award applauded Victor Lo Chung Wing's impactful journey. I feel very honored to have re received this award. Uh, it means a lot to me. Although I'm a manufacturer by, by occupation, but uh, I'm very passionate about arts and culture and innovation and design, of course. And uh, as I said, I've been lucky. I was trusted by the community of our creative industries. And on occasions, I've been trusted by the SAR government and uh, they entrusted me with these very interesting projects and in several different areas, uh, science and technology, university education, 
design inno innovation and arts and culture. So I feel very blessed. Uh, it's been very fulfilling. Victor Lowe's global impact extends through design and business. Steering Gold Peak Technology Group, he redefines innovation. Yet, it's his exceptional fusion of innovation, artistic vision, and cultural insight that distinctly defines his leadership. Design today is smart problem solving. Uh, but to achieve smart problem solving, you have to engage other professionals. Designers alone cannot do it, so they must uh, respect other disciplines and their expertise. And also, the world is changing so fast, technology is changing so fast, so designers must be prepared for lifelong learning. You would never have learned enough or fast enough. Lowe's commitment to advancing innovation and technology, arts and culture is equally commendable. He has played a pivotal role in establishing and shaping the transformation of Hong Kong science and technology parks and several iconic cultural and creative institutions in Hong Kong, including Hong Kong Design Center, Hotel Icon, School of Design of Poly U, Hong Kong Design Institute, PMQ, and M+. His strategic initiatives have not only enriched the city's cultural and creative realm, but have also illuminated the pivotal role of design and value creation. I think the future is very promising because Hong Kong is still a major uh, international city, and Hong Kong is very multicultural. We can attract talents from all over the world. And we're right next door to a big market in our mainland. And also the rest of Asia is, uh, is developing fast too. So I think that the future is good. Uh, but I think the key is we need to continue to uh, attract talent from all over the world. Uh, design is all about talent. The DFA Lifetime Achievement Award celebrates trailblazers whose lifelong dedication shaped design, education and society, notably in Asia. This year, we honor one of the most influential figures in the design world, Kenya Hara. The Lifetime Achievement of the show is a little bit of a surprise. I think it's a little bit of a surprise. I think it's a little bit of a surprise. あのまあ、次の新しい、まあ、プロジェクトに対して自分自身が、まあ、若いデザイナーと同じように向き合う、まあ、そういうポジションにいると思うので、まあ、ライフタイムアチーブメントっていうふうには全く自分のことは今思ってない、まあ、そういうことをあの感じてないんですけどもただまあ,あの若いとかそのオールドとかっていうことは関係なくですね、まあ、そういう人たちと一緒に、まあ、プロジェクトを、まあ、進めていきたいというふうに考えてますけど。After graduating from Musashino Art University in 1983, Kenya Hara embarked on a path that would redefine the role of design in our everyday lives. Hara's influential contribution to Muji as a member of its advisory board since 2002 has been of paramount importance. His focus on the concept of emptiness, a cornerstone of Muji's minimalist design philosophy, rooted in Zen principles, has significantly influenced the brand's aesthetic. Emptiness is when the Muji art director became the Muji's thinking and thinking and how to explain it to the world, it was a concept of the Muji's art director. The Muji's art director is a very simple design. ミニマルなデザインに思えるんですけれども、まあ、基本的には日本の、まあ、質素でありながらゴージャスに引け目を感じないで質素であることをむしろ誇りに思うような、まあ、そういう考え方っていうことがベースになっているので、まあ、そのシンプリシティという合理性とは少し違う考え方として表現したかったのでエンプティネスという考え方で、まあ、説明しているわけです。Hara's versatility shines through in projects like the Nagano Winter Olympic Games and Expo 2005, where his creativity knew no bounds. As the founder and director of Hara Design Institute, his impact on design is indelible, reshaping our visual world in profound ways. Many, 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 many
すでに素晴らしいものがあるっていうことにどうやって気づけるかっていうことが、まあ、デザインという考え方とかデザインの知性にとっては一番大事なことだと僕は思いますけど。Yet, it's not just in design. Hara's literary contributions through books like Designing Design and White have transcended languages, cementing his global influence and impact in the design world. So, it's not just that the trend is a very short cycle. So, the world is the first time to see the world. So, the world is the first time to see the world. So, the world is the first time to see the world. So, the world is the first time to see the world. So, the world is the first time to see the world. So, the world is the まあ、そういういかに世界を新鮮に見ることができるかっていうその見方についてであります。ケンヤハラ、アフィシナリー whose legacy continues to inspire and shape the very essence of design in our lives。It is an absolute pressure to see that the DFA DFAA received numerous outstanding projects in this year, including various solutions from different sectors dedicated to bringing positive impacts to Asia and the world. We are glad to learn that designers are increasingly focusing on inheriting cultural traditions, considering societal implications, and emphasizing sustainability. Looking ahead, we hope to witness. More thought provoking and human centered design solutions, promoting Asia social values and fostering sustainable communities. DFA Design for Asia Awards 2023, which celebrates and honors the outstanding achievements in the realm of design with impact in Asia, covers a comprehensive spectrum of design excellence through six diverse categories. It is a stage upon which design talents and corporations can showcase their design projects internationally. In the 2023 edition, A total of 216 awards are granted to acknowledge the design excellence. Among these awards, there are 10 grand awards, 19 gold awards, 40 silver awards, 55 bronze awards, and 92 merit awards presented. Design projects from Hong Kong tops the leaderboard with 58 winning projects, followed by the mainland and Japan claiming 52 and 47 winning projects, respectively. Let's review the winner lineups of the DFA Design for Asia Awards 2023. All the awards symbolize the range of achievements, encompassing a holistic celebration of design excellence and innovation. The awards featured a panel of over 40 international judges, consisting of experts from various design disciplines and regions, providing insightful comments on the winning entries, reflecting the diversity and comprehensiveness of the awards judging process. Ellen's book. Collecting inspiration for design is a great piece of communication design, which is not only about aesthetic in communication or book design, it's about、um, the key message he wants、uh, to reach his audience and how this key message actually delivers to the audience. The book is about Alan's passion for collecting,、uh, how it drives his characteristic look. On East and West, it's a system approach in communication designed to be an integrated process rather than an isolated、uh, effort. Firstly, I think it is beautifully produced and selling at an affordable price. And secondly, is an aspect which is an eye opener. Even for me, someone who is interested in Chinese civilization, even though the likelihood of me practicing this is remote, but it's good to keep a live record of it. And、uh, I hope that it will be collected by libraries as an aspect of Chinese civilization. Very happy to be able to win this award. 也非常感谢我们这个主办方以及专家评委能够把这么一个有分量的大奖的荣誉给到我们这个乡土的非常小的一个北桥传泉这么一个题材的书籍设计。
，让我们这么一个非常被人忽视的这么一个文化传统项目，能够得以在亚洲最具影响力这么一个大舞台上来呈现，我非常高兴。This is a project developed for neighborhood in South Korea in the Gangnam-gu. So, like a lot of traditional and local neighborhoods, this neighborhood encountered a lot of problems. So, the team worked with the local residents and do a very in-depth study of the area to understand what the residents need. So, the result is a set of simple, clear, beautifully designed tools, including barriers, lighting fixtures. And signage to help to change the situation. So the project is a great example of active administration, organized by local neighborhood and also a public institution. And this is a very good case to showcase how it is possible for designers to create a better future with the society. What I'm going to speak about is uh, do it yourself, and it really promotes the maker culture. Uh, which as designers of course we really appreciate and we like to do things with our hands. Uh, so I think these uh, kits will really create products that, have, that are value oriented and they mean much more than just a piece of furniture. And uh, most importantly it comes from circular forestry system. So it's, it's highly sustainable. So that's also something that comes from the ancient culture of preserving and redoing and recycling. とにかく驚いていますあのまあ、日本から来たんですけれどそのまさかこんな大きな賞をいただけるとは思っていなかったのであのすごい感動していますえっと私があの考えたプロジェクトのコンセプトはあのまあ、自分で作っていただいて自分で直すというまあ、商品を通して日本の森まあ、世界の林業の問題だったりとかあらゆる木の問題っていうところに側面を当ててほしい一般の人たちがいろんな森のことだったりそのものを考えるようなあのー、商品にしています。I think the MS Lab signage project is a great example of, you could say, wayfinding and signage design. Because, I mean, to me, design is um, to simplify things, and so this concept is really clever. and um, also leaving some creativity to the people who actually uh, arrange the signage or the, the messages on the signs. I'm so excited to hear the name about the oil streets and also the project which named the development of the oil streets. The first one is the feasibility and the second one is usability, and the third one is the viability. The feasibility is to make the space become a, a, a special art museum in the middle of the city. And the viability is to make the space become the art space and combine the business stuff in the space. The third one of the usability. It's a really special experience makes the users go to the middle of the city, the middle of the office building in Hong Kong. We are very honored to receive this grand award in GIST, in the Oil Street Art Space. We have created a space to experience this art for all. Not just a building, but an internal forum. A tranquil oasis in the heart of a dense urban fabric. An open theater for all. And gathering for people, for art, and also other activities. A place to display art in complete openness to relate to both indoor and outdoor art installations. Also, a place that defines both East and West, old and new, history and the modern spirit of Hong Kong. Well, there were some brilliant entries this year's awards and the, the Philips uh, robot floor washing and cleaning robot uh, cleaner was uh, one of the outstanding products. And um, it's a really clever piece of machinery and uh, robots are really sort of part of everyday life now. Well, nobody likes cleaning houses, do they, uh, when you're at home? And uh, I think this does it for you. And um, it really is much of the future of um, domestic living. I mean, this enables people to perhaps live more simply and more effectively uh, and perhaps spend more time doing what they want to do rather than cleaning their houses. 
the Sumo project on the island of uh, Yakushima uh, is a very important project to uh, relate the natural surrounding with very high environmental values uh, from the mountains to the ocean. Uh, it is a project that would uh, respect the original habitats of the trees uh, as well as uh, creating a human space uh, for the corporations and for learning about nature uh, on this uh, World Heritage Site island. The project is uh, about architecture and it, uh, it can connect to the man-made building and the nature together. So it's like uh, sustainable, but uh, it's more sustainability. But it's, it's say, we say uh, regenerative architecture. It restore the nature, not only the uh, sustain the nature. We really uh, very much appreciate this project. Uh, most important meaning of this project or this architecture is above all harmonize with the functionality and the beautiness. The combining to, to harm, uh, beautiness and uh, functionality. So how cylinder-shaped floor is makes a very much rational and lightweight strongness. Also, it could be uh, make a free floor plan and purity. It's a solution of earthquake and flood. So, Harmony with functionality and beautiness. Never change design value. The Yamai Arashi Nursery School is a one-story timber structure that has uh, followed the principle of designing with nature and that is demonstrated by the wind flowing through uh, the space. Uh, the spatial design within the structure is also very fluid and that allows the children playing inside the school to interact with, with each other and increasing their sociability uh, within the structure. And so uh, I think the design really uh, would have some impact on uh, the understanding of uh, architecture, of the principle of designing with nature, as well as allowing the community of children uh, to have a very, very comfortable and safe environment. DFA Hong Kong Young Design Talent Award, established in 2005, aims to nurture up-and-coming designers and design graduates aged 18 through 35. It recognizes promising Hong Kong young design talents, serving to maintain the city's competitiveness and consolidate its role as an Asian design hub. The DFA Hong Kong Young Design Talent Award 2023 proudly announces 17 outstanding young designers celebrated for their exceptional skills across various design disciplines. Notably, 13 recipients have been granted a collective sum of up to 5 million Hong Kong dollars, enabling them to pursue enriching opportunities abroad. My graduation collection is called Maharlika. The meaning of Maharlika means royalty in Filipino. The three things that make me feel special, which is my Filipino family, women, and painting. So I use this to talk about a topic called Filipino feminism. This collection speaks greater than this, the beauty and the visuals itself, but also it's to dismantle socio-political attitudes that undermine women through this collection. In 2018, I formed my perfect tattoo studio, Western Tattoos, as a self-taught tattoo artist. And my practice usually um, have face-to-face -face consultations with my clients. And my clients usually uh, share their inner thoughts and personal experience so that I can uh, talk with them and try to convert their story into a simple and abstract motive so that uh, kind of like a healing journey with them and to deal with uh, their personal journey and their problems. Sustainable fashion is not just a passing further, its motto has a great importance for the future, which is I am merging nature and technology with sustainable fashion. For me, I feel like a public space should be balanced, uh, lively, and should be flexible. And then one of my objectives is to rethink about what kind of public space in Hong Kong this special context could provide. 
and the could we combine uh, public and private interests, even heritage, into the boundaries of public space. In my project, the science, so I work with the bacteria, so we try to work with them and also extract the uh, pure copper from the electronics, because like electronical waste is like a huge problem in our environment. So that's why uh, we try to work with different kind of uh, organisms and try to turn it into some alternatives, because it's uh, like alternatives would be like a very inspiring uh, outcome for our design. Thank you all once again for celebrating the achievement and design excellence of all winners. Your creativity inspires us all and we're eagerly looking forward to witnessing more exceptional designs in the future that will shape our world. See you next year.